All right, this is gonna be a quick video on how to get some better recording capabilities out of the Logitech C930E if you're using it on a Windows box, specifically Windows 8 and 8.1, don't know about Windows 10 yet. Um, the problem I'm having, or not the problem I have, but the issue I found was I was working with a couple of people that were making recordings and they've got these C930Es. And when they sent the video to me, it was really kind of low quality uh, and it was really small so the the frame height and width and I was like what's going on I mean this is a pretty high-end camera it's 1080p why are the files so small in terms of the, the height and frame and the quality so I started doing a little bit of uh, research and I actually had a C930 on my Mac I'd never put on my Windows and when I brought it down I realized the Logitech software is sort of limiting what the camera can do and the reason it's doing this is because Logitech built this to be a uh, business camera and not a consumer camera so it ex Logitech assumes that the business applications are going to be the ones providing the drivers in the video and take care of all the HD part so they didn't build their software to do it so if we open up the Logitech software which I did We've got standard and widescreen, and if you go to the settings for resolution, you can see the 320 by 240, 640 by 480, 800 by 600, and we can go over to widescreen, and it's going to give us 320 by 10, uh, 1080, 180, 360p, and 720p. So 720p is the best we're going to get out of this. So now the question I get asked is, well, what does that mean about the video? So let's close here and go over to File Manager or Explorer here. And what I did is I made a couple sample recordings earlier. I record. I spelled standard wrong. That's really brilliant. At least once. And here you can see if we go over and look at the file property details, we've got the frame width and height. So that's going to be think of it as the picture frame, right? How big is my picture frame? And then we got the size of the file. You know. That could be how much it weighs on the wall for all we care. Uh, it's just the size of it. How how much is it going to be to ship it across the wire? And the frame, so like I said, the frame rate is what we're going to concentrate on here. We go to the 640, it turns into 640 by 480, so a bigger picture frame. 800 by 600, bigger frame. Now we can go over to the widescreen settings and it drops back down to the 320, so the smaller one. 360p gets that 640 by 360. And then 720p gives us 1280 by 720. And everybody goes, okay, great, but I still don't get what that means. Well, let's go over here and look at the video. So I'm going to just open up this in VLC and we're going to play it. Uh, and of course it defaults to the biggest size. So let's say not to always fit on screen. This is the size of the frame, the, how big my frame is or my picture frame is when I'm watching that video. If I want to see it full screen, I've got to say show it to fit the window and you can see it blows it out a little bit so because we're, we're basically you know what happens you take a low quality picture and you zoom in on it it gets fuzzy so here's the 360 uh, the 320 quality here's the 640 quality for standard a little bit better but uh, still not great we can go to the 800 setting much better uh, still not great, but much better than the 320. Then we go over to widescreen for 320 and it drops back down. So low quality again, but widescreen. Then we can go to the widescreen 360p, getting a little bit better here, bigger. And then we can go over to the 720p widescreen. And this is the best we're going to get out of the Logitech software on the computer. So 720 is not bad, but it's not great, and I'd like to get much better, especially since this camera could do 1080, or 1080p, sorry. So how do we get the 1080p? I'm sure there's other software we can do it on, but the camera app that comes on 8 and 8.1 will take care of this for us, because it can record video. And there we go. So now let's go over here and go to the settings. So if you go down to the bottom right and bring up the charms bar, we can go to settings, go to options, and you can see we've got the standard four by three, so the little square picture, you know, if we're thinking picture frames, it's gonna be a little square one, or we can do the widescreen. I think probably stick to widescreen, that's what the best stuff to do is. And we can either do the video quality of 720p or 1080p. So again, what does that mean to us? 
So I went and made the two recordings using the 720 and 720p and 1080p. So with the 720, we're getting the 1280 by 720, and with 1080p, we're getting 1920 by 1080. And again, what does that mean for the video? Let's go over here and we'll play. Whoops. Now here is the widescreen 720p off the camera app. And here is the widescreen 1080p off the camera app. So you can see way better quality and size for the videos. So, you know, basically, you know, I guess if you're going to just stick to 720p, you go with uh, either the Logitech software or the Windows camera app software. Um, I'm going to say the, the camera app is getting a little bit more detail. The file size is bigger, so maybe the quality... 15 frames, yeah, it's getting better data rate, so I'd probably still use the camera app. And then obviously, if you want the best quality, use the 1080p widescreen. So again, just a quick walkthrough to show uh, show a couple people uh, uh, what settings to use and an example of what the difference in the frame size and everything, or the, not the frame size again. Hopefully this helps. Uh, should have scripted this out a little bit better, but I hope, hopefully get the point across and we'll talk to you later.